Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's summer, which means for us very light wind and a lot more foil boarding. Not surprisingly, this also comes with a lot of self-rescue practice. Admittedly, our crew doesn't have the best track record with self-rescues. Our spot doesn't have a lot of wind at surface level, which means we've been able to just swim back with the kite to shore relatively easily. Mind you, this was a couple of years ago when many of us weren't foil boarding, so we stayed pretty close to shore for marginal wind sessions on our twin tip boards. Now that we're foiling, it's easy to get carried away and go quite a bit further from shore, which means that lazily swimming back with an unwrapped foil kite isn't an option, as the kite will take on water when swimming such a distance. Before we dive in, just a caveat here. These tips apply for light wind conditions with relatively flat water or low chop. In cases where the wind or waves are quite high, then this may not be a suitable approach for you. So let's get into it. Our tips for self-rescuing with a foil kite. In this example, I was foil boarding on an 8 meter sole in pretty light wind, probably in the range of 8 to 10 knots. The wind dropped though, and during a down loop, the kite hit the water, and the wing tip got tangled up in the bridles. Also, very stupidly that day, I was not wearing a life jacket. I wish I had a better excuse than I just didn't feel like it, but ever since that day, I've been wearing a life jacket. I did attempt to relaunch, but given the tangle, it just wasn't happening. I sat on my foil board and wrapped my lines. Once the kite reached me, I fixed the corner and let the lines back out to attempt to relaunch. Given how far from shore I was, and the kite was still inflated, I figured it was worth a shot. And that's our first tip. Try to relaunch if you can. This often requires some patience, and had I been wearing a life jacket that day, I probably would have been more comfortable waiting to see if the wind picked up so that I could relaunch. In this example, I was unsuccessful in relaunching the kite, so it was time to self-rescue. Again, I sat on the foil board for flotation and to keep the board with me as I wrap the lines up neatly. Also, it's very important that you wrap the safety line in a figure eight for at least three meters before you begin wrapping the remaining lines. Now, admittedly, when the wind is completely dead, some kiters skip this step, but it's always better to be safe than sorry. After the lines are wrapped, I secure them with the elastic as I reach the bridles. Then I grabbed one tip and pulled the other tip on top to fold the kite in half. At this point, you can place the bar on the tips of the kite and roll it just a bit. If you can, open the deflate valves on the kite so it will deflate and pack easily. The biggest thing here is to take your time and be patient. If you're smart and have a life vest on, there's no need to rush and you can execute a self-rescue properly and safely. As you can see, I was rushing, so my pack job is less than ideal in this example, so let's take a look at a better one. In this example, our friend Nicholas did a great job of packing his kite and simply left it on his foil board. He did need some help getting out of the water though, as he did end up on the rocks. Back to my self-rescue. Once your kite is packed up, you can rest it on your foil board and begin your swim back. Depending on your board, you may find it easy to support yourself on top of it or swim beside it with your arm around your kite. The best part of self-rescuing properly is that your swim will be much easier. No lines or bridles getting tangled up, no heavy kite slowing you down, and once you get back to shore, it's easy to unpack and relaunch without having a huge tangled mess to deal with as you see here. A little patience on the water will save you a big headache back on shore. So these are our tips for self-rescuing with a foil kite and a foil board. If you have any additional tips or if we've missed something, make sure to let us know in the comments below. And this is how you self-rescue. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.